Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Mike Prince Show. I am your host, Dr. Michael Prince. It's Wednesday, and we have made it to another week. It's April the 13th, 2016. I've been up in the wee hours of the morning, but I'm excited and glad about it to be here with you. we got a lot to talk about. Of course, we're going to talk about the presidential race and how things are tightening up all over the place. We're going to talk about the Prairie View Athletics Department as they had a press conference on yesterday introducing the two basketball coaches, Coach Byron Smith and Coach Raven Justice. We'll talk about Prairie View softball and, of course, Prairie View baseball and some little tits in that about what's going on in the world as we know it. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with our first segment of the Mike Prince Show. You're listening to Community Radio on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, 87.9 FM, Prairie View, Texas. It's a medical breakthrough. Doctors are prescribing something new to help prevent cancer and improve survival rates. But you don't get it filled at the pharmacy. The answer is as close as your local supermarket. That's right. Research has shown that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, and other high-fiber vegetarian foods protects against cancer and can even help survival rates. Side effects of a vegetarian diet include increased energy, lower cholesterol levels, and better overall health. And with the right recipes, a high-fiber vegetarian diet can be a delicious way to help shed those unwanted pounds. So stock up today. For a free nutrition booklet filled with delicious cancer-fighting recipes, visit cancerproject.org or call 866-906-WELL. That's 866-906-WELL. This message brought to you by The Cancer Project, committed to preventing cancer and improving survival. While cutting molding with a 12-inch dual compound miter saw, while holding a newborn baby in your arms, when face-to-face with a congregation of alligators, with the ball in your hands and the entire freaking season on the line. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. Getting chewed out by so your why would you do it while driving? On what NASCAR driver Casey Kane here, in the asking, asking you to please stop the text. And together, we can stop the wrecks. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Get the message at stoptextstoprex.org. What if I told you that for $36, you could make a big difference? At $36 a year, you can become a listening partner with the Open Mic Broadcast Network. This annual donation would help us continue the success of our broadcast throughout Walla County. Visit our website at ktorradio.com and become a listening partner today. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back to the Mike Prince Show. I am your host, Dr. Michael Prince. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at OBN underscore radio. You can follow us on Instagram at OBN radio. Our Facebook page is Open Mike Broadcast Network. That is O-P-E-N, capital M-I-C, Broadcast Network. And don't forget to visit our website at OBN radio dot Well, as you know, we're in the middle of the presidential race right now as they're trying to get as many delegates as possible. The magic number for the Republican delegates is 2,472 and for the Democratic delegates is 4,765. And at one time, what was looking like a pure runaway for both Hillary and Uh, Trump has now turned into an all out battle royal, if you will. There are 758 total delegates for Trump versus 538 for Cruz. And the gap is closing down as we speak. And as for Hillary, she has 1,790. 
And Bernie Sanders has made a leap beyond leaps. He is down up to 1,113 delegates. So uh, Bernie Sanders has gained momentum, if you will, that he would be the the I guess the representative from the Democratic Party. He's actually up by 11 percent in the latest CNN poll, while Donald Trump uh, will be nominated as the Republican Party has gone up to 55 percent, actually has dropped down a little bit to 55 percent with the gain that Cruz has been making. So there are a lot of things coming up. Uh, for the Republican Party, you got New York and Pennsylvania uh, delegates coming up. There's going to be 95 delegates for New York, 75 for Pennsylvania. And you also have the same tracking, if you will, for the uh, Democratic Party and updates as, as things are, as they say, heating up all so well. You got the uh, New York delegates coming up for uh, Pennsylvania and New York, as we uh, spoke for Democratic, 247 delegates for the New York, the state of New York, and 189 for Pennsylvania. So Bernie could gain some ground. Cruz could gain some ground. Meanwhile, the two uh, leading leading pack leaders, if you will, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, what seemed to be a huge, huge lead is now turned into some areas of concern, if you will, to the point that Trump is crying right now. Uh, I, I guess crying is a strong word, but I'll say he's complaining that the rules are stacked against him as far as um, him becoming the Republicans' choice to represent for the Oval Office. Now, uh, if you go back a couple of weeks ago, Trump was uh, quoted as saying that if he is not nominated, that more than likely he would go as an independent to try and uh, make sure that he uh, gets into the office of presidential nomination. So it is it is really, really uh, turning around. And one thing that I've, I've got to say, and I'm not really one way or the other as far as Bernie and, and Hillary is concerned, but you've got to admire the, the tenacity of Bernie Sanders, how when folks were saying, Bernie, just fold up tent, let's go home. And Bernie kept fighting, 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 and has clawed his way. And it is really getting down to the crunch right now. And it's going to be interesting to see how New York and Pennsylvania uh, turns out. As a matter of fact, they're going to be um, uh, getting the results of those on April 19th, which is not so far away. And it's, it's going to be a very, very uh, interesting uh, series of results uh, to see how all of this unfolds. So um, get out there, exercise your right to vote. It is uh, a, a, a privilege as a United States citizen to get out there and cast your vote. But don't just cast your vote on the national. Do you need to get involved with your state and local uh, politics as well and, and politics sounds like a dirty dirty word at times but if you really think about politics in essence everyone is involved politically it's just a matter of how deep you plan to get involved uh, the politics is everywhere you go politics is in little league politics is in high school politics is in cheerleading politics is in the church politics is all around us so uh, you have to be very careful I was one who um, really, really hated the word politics. But when you look at it, everywhere you go, everything that's connected has something of a political motivator, whether we want to accept that part or not. So get involved. Make sure your voice is heard. And the only way your voice can be heard is that you get out and uh, get involved with the voting process, whether you're trying to receive votes, as I am running for mayor of the city of Prairie View, um, and as you, as you just want to go out and support whoever your candidate of choice will be. But get involved in the process and help make the difference in our 
country, not just our community, but our country. And if you look at it, if you're helping out your home, you help out your neighborhood, you help out your neighborhood, you help out your community, you help out your community, you help out your city, you help out your city, you help out your state. You help out the state, then you help out the nation. You see where I'm going with all this. It's a domino effect. And don't think that your vote does not matter. Don't think that your voice is not being heard. Your voice is being heard every time you go into that ballot booth and you cast your vote. So get out there, make sure you're voting, whether you're Republican, Democratic, Tea Party, no party, half a party, whatever it is, get out there and exercise your right. Let your voice be heard. We are going to take us a break, and when we come back, there are so many things going on at Prairie View A&M University. And it's just not going to be enough time to talk about it, I know. But we're going to try to get in as much as we can while we can right here at the Mike Prince Show. Why don't you tap some of your neighbors and let them know that we're on. And you can go to our website at obnradio.com. Go in there, check it out, see what you think, hear what you want to say, and chime in with your questions, tweets, comments, or whatever it is you want to do. Our Twitter handle is obn underscore radio. Our Facebook account is Open Mic Broadcast Network. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with more of what's going on on the Hill at Prairie View A&M University. You're listening to Community Radio on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, 87.9 FM, Prairie View, Texas. Apple Ford Hyundai is a dealer you can count on. Apple's range of car services include new Ford Hyundai sales, used car sales, car loans, and auto financing. Certified Ford Hyundai Auto Service Department, full selection of Ford Hyundai Auto Parts, and aftermarket accessories. Come on out to Brenham, Texas and find out why Apple Ford Hyundai has been named the best kept secret in Brazos Valley. They're located at 1820 Highway 290 West in Brenham, Texas. You can dial a toll-free number at 888-898-6095. There's even an internet sales division. Simply go to www.appleford.com. Apple Ford Hyundai of Brenham, Texas. Okay, astronaut, you're up. You'll be meeting with Wish Kid Brandon. Roger, Brandon. His wish is to see a space shuttle launch. All systems are go. We are clear for liftoff. This year, more than 27,000 children will be diagnosed with a life-threatening medical condition. And, cowboy? Yes, ma'am. You'll be meeting with Shayla at a dude ranch in San Antonio. <laughs> Let's saddle up. Some will miss school. Some will miss time with their family and friends. Princess, are you here? Oh, yes. Thank you so much for rescuing me from that evil witch. Juliana wishes for a princess-themed room makeover. That sounds magical. But with your help, the Make-A-Wish Foundation can lift their spirits and give them a special kind of hope. Pirate. Yar. You're up for Isaac's wish. Aye, aye, Captain. The wishes of thousands of children are waiting to come true. You can help make my wish happen. Visit wish.org today. With over 20 years of experience as a lawyer, attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. can help you with whatever your need may be. Divorce, car accidents, criminal case, wills, deeds, trust, civil suits, parent and child relationships. Contact Richardson's Law Office located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You can call them at 979-826-8008. Attorney Lee Van Richardson Jr. in Hempstead, Texas. Hello and welcome back to the Mike Prince Show. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Prince, and we are rolling, rolling, rolling right along. In case you were not able to capture it live, maybe you listened to our rebroadcast, but the PV Nation has opened their arms to embrace their latest addition in the coaching family. That is Coach Raven Justice. She has been announced as the 
new women's basketball coach for the Lady Panthers, and she was introduced to PV Nation on yesterday, and she will come in hitting the ground running, if you will, as she will be able to go out and uh, let it be known across this great land of eyes that Raven Justice is now the face of Lady Panthers basketball. She came in, um, spent six years at U of H and six years at Houston Baptist, and uh, she is coming in. First opportunity for her to get a chance in the coaching field. So there have been a lot of changes in the world of athletics as far as PV Nation is concerned. And I kind of looked over those things just the other day, and I was going like, you know, there's been a lot of turnover at PV Nation here of late. When you when you go back, if you go back to football, you have Coach Simmons, who's in as the football coach. Uh, you have Coach Riggins, who is now in as the baseball coach. You have Coach Byron Smith, who was also introduced on yesterday, or reintroduced, we should say, on yesterday. You have Miss Raven Justice, both of them holding down the basketball rims. You have a new tennis coach. Um, I'm trying to think, am I missing anyone else that that are new on the scene? And uh, officially, unofficially, Coach Tato Tyler is the new volleyball head coach. So there is a lot of changes in the air at Prairie View and just trying to make sure that everybody is lined up in the breast to what all is going on and how it is going on on the campus of Prairie View. So as Prairie View moves forward, um, the, the, the complex is coming together. Uh, we know that people are, are, are fully aware of the uh, football stadium that is under construction, but just had a uh, construction start for the soccer complex. The uh, track uh, is just about done. The track and field uh, um, complex is just about done. And things are, are, are picking right up. Uh, the softball uh, has, um, you know, done some upgrades. Baseball done some upgrades. As a matter of fact, um, there is a new scoreboard, a digital scoreboard, in left center field at John Tankersley Baseball Complex. And speaking of baseball, the Panthers are scheduled to go to Baton Rouge to take on the Southern Jaguars. Uh, hopefully that will go to pass and won't be washed out or rained out. Both teams are needing to play in a bad way, if you will, uh, as far as the standings are concerned the Panthers currently 4 and 10 in conference play but 10 and 18 overall the Southern Jaguars are 3 and 11 and 8 and 21 overall so the Panthers uh, just came off a rough weekend against the Texas Southern Tigers getting um, ousted two games to one in that three game series Panthers won the game two uh, which made it go to a rubber match. And those who are probably figuring out what exactly is a rubber match is in a three-game series where both teams have won. And then that rubber match, i.e. the third game, will determine the winner of the series. So the Panthers uh, kind of were dead men walking, if you will, on Sunday. They lost 24-5 to on that Sunday routing, if you will, by the Texas Southern Tigers with Coach Antoine, Antoine Riggins was a very uh, heads-up professional, went in, talked about it, and uh, got through it. And the Panthers will live to fight another day as they make preparations uh, to take on the Southern Jaguars this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Baton Rouge. And if the weather permits itself and the creek don't rise and the Lord delays is coming, you can listen to Panthers baseball exclusively right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Every pitch along the way on the road games have been handled right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, and we look forward to providing those games. If I'm not mistaken, the format for those games will be 3 o'clock on Friday, 3 o'clock on Saturday, and 1 o'clock on Sunday. You can go to our website at obnradio.com and go ahead and put your bid in, if you will, for 
uh, the, the scheduled times of the games and sit back and enjoy Panther Athletics right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And the Panthers are, uh, as we mentioned, in the fourth slot of the Western Division. But the ironic twist is that regardless of the standings, the Panthers are going to make the SWAC baseball tournament. Now, why and how is that Southern has been declared ineligible for the, the uh, tournament? So that means the top four teams of the West, in this case, Gravelin in first place, Arkansas Pine Bluff in second place, Texas Southern is in third. Then you have Prairie View and Southern. So even if these games are rained out, washed out, if you will, I don't even think there will be a press. This is just me speaking, but I don't think there'll be a press to even try to make those games up because Southern does not qualify for the tournament. What it does, though, it takes away at bats for the Panthers. It takes away uh, the team to continue to gel together and come together uh, as one as they build toward the tournament. And so it makes you um, uh, look at Coach Riggins and the staff and wondering, if they're just looking, you know, trying to weather and p- put pieces together so they can start having a breakout performance in the tournament. Now, you've been seeing some guys turn the corner individually, but what you want to do is see these guys turn that corner collectively as as a unit where they can come in. You've got some um, some good performances. Uh, and a guy that's sticking out in particular is Josh Wales, uh, the big 6'2 freshman. He's been coming in at third base to replace the injured Edgar Sanchez. And if you don't have this injury to Sanchez, then you uh, you, you don't know what uh, this young man Josh Wells is capable of doing. So there's been some good to come out of these events and go on. Cody Dembesti has awakened his bat again. Uh, you had Darian Williams who's doing some things. And these guys are, are guys that I'm calling out on the uh, Prairie View a University's baseball team. And uh, the Panthers, still a young group, putting some things together. Uh, growing pains, if you will, for Coach Riggins and the Panthers staff, Coach White and Coach Burrell, along with Coach Bennis, as they uh, are putting in the time, putting in – uh, all the the right things in order to try and move the program forward. So the Panthers will get a chance to uh, get things lined up for the SWAC baseball tournament. And we'll give you a rundown of uh, the East. Uh, we talked about the West. Of course, Gramlin is 11-4 and four in conference play. They're holding down the first slot in the uh, Western Division and Arkansas Pine Bluff is at eight and four. Texas Southern's at nine and six, and of course Prairie View's four and ten, and Southern is at three and eleven. On the east side, no one can stop this train called the Alabama State Hornets. They're fifteen and zero in conference play. I want to let you know that you can also listen to Hornets broadcast through the Open Mic Broadcast Network through the South Channel at obnradio.com. And our affiliate, Mr. Dwayne Lewis, uh, broadcasting the Hornets baseball action. And and you can check them out at either the Alabama State Network or, as we mentioned, through the Open Mic Broadcast Network on the South Channel. Jackson State is at 6-6. Six and six. They're tied for second with Alcorn State, who stands in at 6-6. Six and six. Now, what was important is that Alabama State, just had a huge uh, series with Jackson State. In fact, they swept Jackson State three games to nil. And you have Alabama A&M who are at 3-8, and eight, and then Mississippi Valley's at 2-12. and 12. And as we met, mentioned about Alabama State and listening to their baseball broadcast here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, also want to put a little side note that you can listen to Jackson State spring football and some of their games coming up in the fall for football season on the Open Mic Broadcast Network Central 2 channel. So we got a lot of things going on here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, and we're not uh, uh, happy at just getting it done. We want to get it done with perfection. We want to get it done with some class, and we want to get it done with some style. Well, we're going to take us another break, and when we come back, We are going to talk a little bit 
about the softball side of things and Coach Vernon Bland and how the Lady Panthers are sizing up the Southwest Athletic Conference. I'm Dr. Michael Prince, and you're listening to The Mike Prince Show live on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Hello, this is Mike Prince, the host of the Mike Prince Show, featured right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Just wanted to share with you that we have our app available where you can go and download it at Google Play absolutely free. You'll never miss another show. You can catch up with old archives and you can pass it on. It's the gift that keeps on giving. The Mike Prince Show app available at Google Play absolutely free. Talk that makes sense. The Mike Prince Show right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The Jazz Bar, located in Burberry, Texas, is a great opportunity for you to have your next community event, whether it be nonprofit, funeral reception, community, charity, government, church, or individuals. The Jazz Bar has the accommodations to meet your need. The Jazz Bar is open Thursdays through Sundays, and you can schedule your private parties Mondays through Wednesdays. The Jazz Bar, located in Prairie View, Texas, dial 936-857-9566. It's a new year, and that means tax season is here. And Gunderson Bookkeeping can provide you with personal income tax preparation. For more information and schedule an appointment, call Gunderson's Bookkeeping at 936 372 2661. And welcome back to the Mike Prince Show. I am your host, Dr. Michael Prince. I hope you're enjoying us. Remember, our website is obnradio.com, obnradio.com. Well, when we broke off, we were talking about baseball. Now we'll transition over into some softball. The Lady Panthers came off a huge, huge series against the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions or the Lionesses or whatever you want to call that. I guess the Lioness would not be a bad thing. But they came off and uh, they were able to they get two out of the three. Um, if you speak with Coach Vernon Bland and some of the ball players, they would say that the third game kind of got away. They were kind of sleepwalking and let that one get away. However, the Lady Panthers are in a very good shape right now as they will, um, you know, have made great leaps and bounds to get things um, back in perspective throughout the Western Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. There's going to be a lot in store for the Lady Panthers as they get ready for their next round or battle, if you will, on the, the battlegrounds where actually – trying to make sure we got everything lined up. We'll be taking on, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Southern, that's baseball, they'll be taking on Southern. Uh, I'm looking here, I'm trying to look at the schedule. That's what happens when you go live sometime. You get tripped up and everything. But I believe they are. They might have a bye this week. Looks like they might have a bye this week. Uh, we just got... Softball uh, will have a bye this week, but they got the two out of three wins and it has upped their standings, if you will, in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. They're currently holding down the second spot. They are 6-6 six and six in conference behind Texas Southern, who is at 10-2. and two. Texas Southern is 17-13 and 13 overall. Panthers are 9-19 and 19 overall. Arkansas Pine Bluff holds up the third slot. They're 3-9. and nine. 12 and 30 overall. Then you have Southern, who's at 1 and 7, 4 and 15 overall. Grambling State Lady Tigers, 1 and 8, 4 and 26 overall. On the east side, once again, it's that Alabama State Hornet train. The Lady Hornets, 9 and 0 in conference play, 18 20 overall. All corns at 8 and 4 overall in conference. And in overall, as far as their season is concerned, they're 12 and 21. 
Mississippi Valley seven and five in softball in third place in the Southwest Athletic Conference. They're eleven and twenty one overall. Alabama A and M is at five and seven, and Jackson State is at three and five. So the baseball season has hit that halfway mark, and they're coming down the back stretches. And the softball girls are, as they say, lining it up right there with them. And remember to go to our website at obnradio.com or follow us on Twitter at OBN Radio or OBN underscore radio and uh, keep up with the latest schedules, results, and everything else that is going on. And before we get out of here, we're going to peruse through and make sure that we got all the softball matches coming up this coming weekend uh, for the Southwestern Athletic Conference as we speak because we want to make sure that we got everybody who's somebody. You got, that's right, you got the Texas Southern Weekend this weekend. How could I forget that? Prairie View and Texas Southern will do battle. I knew it was something I was forgetting. Uh, Texas Southern and Prairie View will do battle on the campus of Prairie View. It's Texas Southern Weekend. How could I be having a brain freeze on that so the lady panthers will be hosting the lady tigers number one against number two and it would be a huge huge uh deal if the lady panthers led by coach vernon bland could end up with the sweep or just more importantly win the series two games to three um i'm proud to to make mention that these these ladies and these men student athletes from the campus they work harder I won't say work harder than anybody, but I can't find anybody who works harder than they do. How does that sound? And um, the dedication that they have to be success, not only on the field, but in the classrooms, throughout the community. And it's good for me, great for me to be a part of um, the development process of these young men and women. So for the softball roundup, you have Gramlin that will be at Southern well, well, Southern will be hosting Grambling. Prairie View will be hosting Texas Southern. Mississippi Valley will be hosting Alcorn. And Alabama State will be hosting Jackson State this weekend. And it will be a, a great, great weekend of sports throughout softball here at the Southwestern Athletic Conference where the Panthers are currently in second place, ladies and gentlemen. They're in second place. And I'm just you know, doing some wishful thinking right now. If they could get the sweep, they could end up with nine and six and be only one game behind Texas Southern who would drop to 10 and five. And that would always be a good thing. So if you get a chance, come on out to the softball complex on the campus of Prairie View to go ahead and support the Lady Panthers and Panthers athletics in all. And I want you to know something, stick real close and and play pay special special attention because we're going to be releasing our fall schedule here real soon for the scheduled athletic broadcast not only for Prairie View Athletics but for local high school broadcast as well and we're working on getting our St. Louis broadcast scheduled together so visit the website at obnradio.com and peruse through it Look for opportunities to go and uh, see when you can come about and support the uh, the broadcast that we have abroad. We can always go and uh, listen on the website at obnradio.com. For those who might be out of whack, don't have Internet service, yes, there are people who don't have Internet service. But we even have a number you can dial to listen to our live broadcast, and that's 724 724- Four 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 seven four four four, and it would be code four six four nine three for Prairie View Athletics, four six four nine two for Jackson State Athletics, and it is one three five eight two five for Alabama State. Same number seven two four 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 seven four four four. Be sure to check our website out obnradio.com see what we're all about what we're trying to do and how we're trying to get it accomplished and tell somebody about what we're doing here at the open mic broadcast network you can even become a listening partner we had our mission memberships drive but doesn't stop anything uh you can always do a membership drive we have a designated time of year that we do it but you can do it anytime any place 
anywhere. You can just go to the website at obnradio.com, see the PayPal button, click on that baby, send the donation of your choice, and we would greatly thank you and be able to continually bring you the coverage necessary for our student athletics. We're going to take us another break, and when we come back, I am going to share with you one of my papa moments. It's a lesson learn opportunity if you have children or if you're just trying to make it you never can tell how inspiration comes in the direction that it comes from we'll talk about that in just a little bit you listen to the mike prince show i am your host dr michael prince we'll take a break and we'll be right back You're listening to Community Radio on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, 87.9 FM, Prairie View, Texas. You know what? I got a problem with drinking and driving. Too many fall victim, most don't survive it. We just got to think before we drink, because you can lose your life just as fast as you can blink. It's that simple. We all know driving drunk is illegal. Still, we're doing it. I'm just trying to smarten up my people so we can keep it safe on the roads. I'm all about mad, and that's because they got a positive goal. So next time when you out with the guys, make sure at least one stays sober to ride. Keep it safe, y'all. Uh, yeah. Keep it safe, y'all. Uh, yeah. Mad.org. You want to know what Boy Scouting is all about? Boy Scouts of America program has three specific objectives, commonly referred as the aims of scouting. They are character development, citizenship training, and personal fitness. If you have a young man between the ages of 11 and 17 and you live in the Houston area, dial 713-659-8111. On my honor, I will do my best. Did you know that physically active children are healthier? It's true. Exercise protects them from diabetes, obesity, cancer, and heart disease. Sadly, nearly half of our kids don't get the recommended 60 minutes of exercise a day. So turn off your kids' TV or computer and take them outside for a walk or bike ride. After all, what's more important than your child's health? To learn more about getting exercise into your child's life, visit the American Council on Exercise website at acefitness.org. That's acefitness.org. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 832-213-8824. Hello and welcome back to the Mike Prince Show. I'm your host, Mike Prince. Um, Many of you uh, that follow me and have listened to this show, at least for a portion, you will know and find out that that I am a sports fan. I don't uh, apologize for that. I don't uh, try to hide and deny who I am. Um, I am a sports fan. Uh, One of the reasons that I am as passionate as I am about sports, because to me it's more than wins and losses. It's... um, it's more than X's and O's. I, I truly believe that athletics shapes and molds individuals to become better people, better leaders, and better assets to society. Now, when I say that, I am not saying that people who are not uh, athletically involved or athletically inclined are terrible people and they're they're lower than low that is not what i'm saying but i'm saying from my personal experience from what i've gathered and i've i've been in sports practically all of my life um i've uh, been and been heavily involved with boy scouts of america um involved uh with the church involved with a lot of community outreaches and by far the the most dynamic one and the most diverse one has has to be sports in my own personal opinion because what sports does 
Sports brings people together. Sports define people's characters, shapes, and mold people to deal with things that they don't realize that they're capable of dealing with until they're faced with that situation. And there are so many parallels uh, that you could use to connect the dots, if you will. And and from my experience, I, I've seen it on a regular basis, and, and I continue to see it now as I continue to wake up each day and I get older and, and a bit wiser. At least I'm trying to each and every time. I'm saying all that to um, to share with you a, a moment that um, – if you're a parent, you understand what I'm about to try to, to explain with you and share with you. Uh, as parents, we always try to prepare our children uh, to be the best that they can be, uh, that they can achieve whatever they want to achieve in life. But they got to be willing to work through. They got to be willing to persevere. And they got to be willing to, to endure some things, certain things you don't need to whine about, certain things you don't need to cry about. Sometimes you've just got to bite the bullet, if you allow me to say it that manner, and push through it. And I believe sports is the, the greatest asset to help develop and mold that type of approach for young people to become uh, more productive citizens in our society. Um, and I'm and I'm referring to my my youngest son, uh, Philip. Uh, Philip, uh, for the most part, um, is a, is a very good athlete, and uh, he has uh, taken a great love uh, for two sports in particular, and that's basketball and baseball. And uh, sometimes, when you have a love for something and and you don't understand how everything works and things might not be working in your favor and the human in us because we're social creatures we love to be included we love to feel excited and accepted and uh, my son experienced some things that he would rather see not happen but he had to allow it to happen and to his viewpoint to his vantage he didn't think things were unfolding the way that he thought they should have been unfolding and and being young and just like most of you that are listening to this particular part of the show uh, that might have uh, youngsters in your life when I say youngsters teenagers mid-twenties they're all youngsters but he was to a point where he become so frustrated so aggravated that he contemplated on whether he should continue to pursue baseball endeavors um, because he was was just you know struggling and and trying to comprehend and cope with things and and uh, being a baseball lover myself baseball literally saved my life and 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 I could see my son losing that fire and that passion and that desire to want to be and, and and for those who might not be aware let me let me explain a little bit further before I really get to the the crux of this whole matter you like would you get to it already Mike I'm working on it just you know bear with me bear with me um, I'm, I'm a, I'm a three-time uh, elected school board member for Waller Independent School District and I'm proudly serving uh, currently and um, sometimes, sometimes uh, people can flex their position and their voice, if you will, for things to lean in their way. But I've never been one to, to, to flex because I just don't believe that helps the situation. It doesn't help the kid. It doesn't help the program. So I, w I would talk to my son. I said, son, just keep working. Just keep working. It doesn't make sense to you now. But you just keep working. And if you keep working and you can look yourself in the mirror and know that you're doing your best every day to become a better person, whether it's being on a football, baseball, uh, basketball court, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're in a classroom, on a job, in a community, if you're just working on being the very best that you can be, you can look yourself in the mirror and you can honestly say that I've never lost. I've never lost. 
Even if you lose 100 to zero, if you know you've put your very best in, you've never lost. And I said, son, if you don't do anything else, you learn through this difficult challenge in your life. And you keep pushing. And you keep pushing. What am I saying? My son thought that maybe he should be playing baseball on the varsity level. I personally thought the same thing. But I wanted him to encourage himself and work through this moment of challenge because parents that are listening right now, you understand what I'm talking about right now. There are going to be some days where you're totally disappointed, you're totally frustrated, and you're totally out of whack about what's going on and why is it happening or in the case, why is it not happening? But instead of us trying to intervene because that parental instinct takes over and you want to try and, and you know, protect my baby, with my quotations, protect my baby, sometimes you got to let your baby become a young man or a young woman. And teaching them that hard work does pay off. That dedication is rewarded. That loyalty still exists and is considered noble. And let them know that no matter how difficult it gets, you don't moan, you don't groan, you don't complain. You just keep it moving. On last night, April the 12th, I was able to witness my son play his first game in varsity. And what a proud moment it was for me because I know that he had worked and earned that opportunity to play on the varsity level of baseball. Now that might not mean anything to anyone else, but it matters to me. Because I, as a father, try to lead by example and show my family on the importance of integrity and doing the very best with what you got. And not complaining, but adjusting. And that's what sports should be bringing to our young men and women. I personally am not one for the uh, kumbaya experience, if you will, where everyone gets a participation medal, trophy. I think it, 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 it softens the exterior, if you will. Now, I don't believe in gloating and doing that. You work hard. You get the results that you're working hard for. That's what you expect. So don't get so uh, enamored with oneself that you got your own separate dance, your own separate, you know, I, I can get into a whole bunch of stuff about that, but I'm not going to depress you any further. But um, I, I said all that to say that I had a very proud Papa moment. And I want to, to acknowledge my son for hanging in there, sticking in there. But now that you've gotten there, son, keep moving, keep working, stay on the grind, stay pressing toward the mark and greater things or yet awaking and awaiting for you, son. And as your father, I'm mighty glad that God chose you to be my son, and I'm thankful for each and every one of my children and my loving, lovely, supportive wife, Stephanie. Um, I'm, a, I'm a truly fortunate and blessed man, and I thank you all for bearing with me through this segment as I share how important and the impact that athletics has had on my life personally. It's not about who won, if you really boil down to it. But it's about did you quit or did you keep on going? So if you keep on going, you'll never, ever, ever, ever lose. And I'm a witness to that. I 
believe that I have said enough for today. I want to thank you all so much for the support. I even want to thank, let me before I shut down, I, I want to thank uh, KPVU 91.3 FM uh, in Prairie View, Texas. Um, um, they're in the middle of their uh, Radiothon spring deal, and I was asked to come and, and help them out on this morning uh, with their Radiothon drive, and, and we did. And uh, we had a wonderful uh, time this morning, uh, raised a little money for them to help them with their calls and their endeavor. And, and here's another thing for me, for the Michael Prince approach to competition. Um, not one radio station, not one uh, Internet station, uh, uh, terrestrial station, whatever podcast that I have no competition with them I am my competition and that's not to be said to be taken in an arrogant context everyone has value everyone has worth and when you work on doing what you do perfecting what you do you don't have time to worry about what anyone else is doing that's why our motto is love what you do simplify what you do and master what you do we master the art the art of being able to communicate with people from various parts of the country through a format such as talk radio such as sports talk such as even gospel sermons on our ktor radio affiliate network we are fortunate and blessed to have the opportunities to share this gift with you and we thank you all for being a part of it. And we look forward to the continued growth as a community. I want to thank you all for joining in with me on this week. Remember, visit our website at obnradio.com. Follow us on Twitter at OBN underscore radio. Instagram is obnradio. I mean, not obnradio.com. That's the website. Just obnradio. Instagram is obnradio. That's all it is. Obnradio. If you're in the world of iHeart, you can look us up at obn sports. That's not all one word. It's just obn space sports. We're there. You can retrieve some of our old broadcast uh, coverage and some of the latest ones that are coming up, but just a part of, of a growing, growing network. And we're so thankful. Uh, we eclipsed over 150,000 uh, regional listeners, and uh, we're looking. I'm pushing for 200. If I can get to 200,000, um, I'll push for the next number, whatever. But we're, we're, we're moving forward, and we're thanking God for each and every step of the way. My time is up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to check it in. Remember, the Mike Prince Show comes to you Wednesdays from 8 to 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. In the event that you miss it, go to the website at obnradio.com. Go to the broadcast page. You'll see the player that'll have the Mike Prince Show right above it click on it and see what you've been missing until next week be blessed and we'll see you on the other side